Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. This video is in continuation to the previous video which was on to export Azure SQL database using REST API and we had discussed that there are three ways which we are going to study. In the previous video, we have studied it to do it through the documentation try it button. You can see here the try it button and this is the standard documentation by Microsoft for export of Azure SQL database and this section lies under the getting started with the rest okay for the different services and here we have the database services that is for the SQL database database export and if we go to the whiteboard so here the documentation try it button we have already explored in the previous video in the current video we are going to study through Postman 2 Okay, so here if we open the Postman tool, you can install it and then create a new collection. Here in the Postman tool, we can create new collection with the help of blank collection or collection templates. And here we already have DB export collection. Inside this collection, we are going to create requests. Go back again here. In the database is export documentation link where we have this HTTP post request. Okay. Then comes the different parameters which we have already studied in the previous video. That is, during export of the Azure SQL database, we have to have the database related details like which database, the resource group, where it lies, server name, subscription ID, API version and the request body. We have the server admin login and password, storage account where the backpack has to be exported, that key, the key type, storage URI, authentication type, type, network isolation, then response received could be one of the three. And if you go further down below, here is the section export a database sample request. So here is the section export a database sample request in the form of HTTP. Okay, this sample request we are going to use in our video. And this sample request we are going to use in this video in the Postman tool. So if so, this sample request will copy, will go to the notepad, and here we will paste. I have already copied this request before and configured the details here. So I've already copied this sample request here above and filled in the details. So the request starts like management.ajor.com subscriptions, the subscription ID. The subscription ID you can take from your subscription related details for the resources where they lie. Then the resource group name, it was cloud knowledge. Then the server, server name, database name, API version. And then the details of the body where the storage key type we need to mention storage key, storage URI. Then comes the body details, same details which we have already seen in the previous video. I will reiterate here the subscription ID, resource group, server name and database name we can get through is from the Azure portal. Let's go to the Azure portal. Here we have the SQL database, the resource group name we can find here, subscription ID we can get, then the server name, CK SQL DB test server, same servers and database we are going to use. Storage key type, the same storage account we are going to use in this video too. So here we have the CK ADLS Gen 2 test. If you go to the overview of this, we have the details of this. That is the resource group. It is in the same resource group, subscription. And if we go to the access key section, we can get the key and get it pasted here in the storage key. Storage URI will be the URI which we can get from the endpoint. Under the settings, we have the endpoint where we have this blob service URL. This we'll paste here and along with this, we have to give the container name and the file which has to be exported. So that's why we have added exported backpack, backpack export dot backpack. This we should always remember else it will throw error. So if you go to the containers, here we have a folder called exported backpack. That's why we have added this and then the backpack export name. So in the previous video, we have created a backpack with the name backpack export dot backpack. In this video, we will create a backpack with a different name. So here, let's say we are writing it as. So here we'll write it as postman so that we can distinguish the backpack. 
which is created then then the admin login and password for the sql server and the authentication type is sql the request is ready and it is created with the help of the sample request which is present in the standard documentation here okay sample request and the response should come like this so we'll go back to the notepad we'll just copy this post request we'll go to the postman tool here in the db export collection we'll create a new request so just right click and click on add request and this request we want to name here as db export request it should be of post type post method and the url will be the url which we have just created this one okay this complete url this we have pasted now next is this body this is the body section so we'll copy this body section we'll go and in the body here this is the fourth tab we'll select raw and then paste the body okay now this looks fine we can click on the send button but the headers are not complete so let's see what error comes and what all headers we need to add in the request if we click on send it will show us authentication fail so the error came as authentication failed authorization header is missing so in the header section we will add authorization header in the header section we can see few default headers are taken by the postman too the content type here is text and plain but in our case it is application json right so we'll just disable this and we'll create a new header content type as content type as application json and authorization authorization header and this authorization header will store bearer token so it will be written as bearer space and the token so from where we will get the bearer token let's go back to the official documentation here at the top we'll click on the try it button and here we have to select the account confirm the account and continue with this account which is the same account through which we have logged in to the azure portal which is the same account through which we have logged in into the azure portal go down here under the rest api try it section at the bottom we can see in the request preview we'll see the authorization bearer token which is bearer and one token value so we'll just copy this token value okay request preview is having the url then the authorization and the content type these two we are going to add in the postman tool so content type we have already added application json and this authorization bearer we will just paste okay this looks fine now this looks fine now and if we go back here in the documentation through the try it button we have got this authorization bearer token i will make another video of getting the bearer token using the postman tool for the azure services okay so that will cover up in a separate video let's go back now we have the headers ready we have the correct content type and the authorization and now we can click on send button sending request and here the result is operation export start time this is success result export operation is now in progress it is saying okay we'll go to the azure portal and here after some time we can see backpack export postman dot backpack file will be created and we'll go to the server to see the export operation is in progress or not so yeah we can see it is started so here we can see that the export database operation is running we'll in the server under the data management import export history we can see that the export database is in progress it's running we'll wait for some time until this export database operation is finished we'll click on refresh in the meantime we can go to the container here inside the ck adls gen2 test and click on refresh we can see yeah backpack export postman dot backpack is created using postman tool okay 
And if we go back to the import export history of the SQL server, we can see that it shows the status as completed. Okay, so I hope you've understood how we can do the export of the George SQL database using REST API through Postman tool. So you have to use the post method. You have to frame the sample request as shown here. Okay, then the body, then the important headers like the content type and the authorization and you are good to go. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know in the comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.